Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. This chapter is on creating custom Gulp tasks. Now, Gulp is the task runner that Microsoft has chosen to use inside the SharePoint framework that we're going to use for doing lots of different things. It's a very popular tool that's used across lots of different web technologies and node projects and in the open source community. And the way it works is that it's basically just a JavaScript task runner. You create tasks that are written in JavaScript, and then Gulp goes and runs them for you. Now, the nice thing is that with the SharePoint framework, Microsoft has already created all the tasks that you need to be successful with working with the SharePoint framework, from building to bundling to packaging your solution, cleaning things up, and a whole bunch of other things that we'll look at. Now, in this chapter, what we're going to focus on is a lot more of like the custom stuff that we can do. So how can we extend Gulp or how can we create our custom Gulp task to do different things? We're going to look at logging. We're going to look at how to integrate third-party tasks, how we can take existing tasks or new ones that we create and chain them together to create our own like series. And then we'll also look at how we can create our own custom tasks for use within our SharePoint framework project. So specifically, we're going to have lessons on doing things such as understanding how Gulp works from a high level. And then we're going to look at how Microsoft has taken advantage of Gulp and integrated it into the SharePoint framework build process and how they've configured it. So once you understand how they configure it, it'll make a little more sense on how you're going to make some of your changes. Then we're going to look at how we can create custom sequences, how we can integrate third party tasks and then how we can create our own custom tasks and use them in our SharePoint framework projects. So let's dive in and let's get to work.